Let me hear you say KO. Competition can't move me. Wrong's one thing you won't prove me. Bruce Lee, Ramos, take a slug for you. What's going on, guys? Kilo bringing you the offensive tip of the week. Um, right here, we're going to be taking a look at a play out of tight double single back from Arizona's playbook called PA Zone Across. It's also in the Buffalo Bills playbook and possibly another book or two. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I know for a fact it's in Zona and Buffalo. So if you're looking for it, that's a good place to start. Um, what we're going to be looking at here is we're looking at the receiver on the right. He's our main target. Um, basically, when we motion him over to the left, he keeps his route. So it's almost like a slant out. Not quite a slant out, but, I mean, it kind of attacks the same part of the field. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to block the running back, motion him over. And then the inside receiver in the bunch and the tight end are, you know, basically like wild cards. You can put them on whatever route you want um, based on the coverage. You know, a lot of times I like to fade the tight end or um, uh, put the, uh, the inside slot guy in a whip route. Nothing set in stone with those two receivers, though, guys. I mean, do it as you please. The tight end's route by himself is actually kind of cool um, if you have time for it to develop. But what you'll notice is you'll notice when uh, the coverage is backed off, the cornerback on the outside there doesn't really react to that route, um, which gives us a lot of open space near the sideline to complete that pass. Now, should somebody drop down on that route, most times what that means is that deep corner is going to be open, that, like, um... The sharp break there from the middle guy in the bunch, X receiver, that's going to be open most times if somebody does drop down on the uh, on the outside route. And then of course, you know, you can always look backside to your tight end on a fade or you know whatever route it is that you put them on. Um, there's a lot that I base solely on, like you know, right here the the reads would be. Um, I would probably normally in a game situation want the tight end on a fade, and I would probably use the whip route because I you know I'm basically I would I would be thinking cover two or two man under. And cover two it was, and we throw the uh, the deep corner to the receiver. Uh, those two routes are nasty in combination with each other, guys. When you get them next, like right next to each other, um, the uh, the out by the motion receiver and then that deep corner, absolutely beautiful route combination. And uh, you know it also it keeps everybody out of the area. You know they're nicely spaced, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know, one receiver running into the other. So this is a play that I, you know, I've been playing around with in practice mode. Um, actually, I think for tomorrow's game, we're actually going to be running Zona in a ranked game. Uh, it's my first ever run with Zona, and uh, you know we'll give it a shot and see what happens. And if it uh, works out, that's great. But uh, you know if it doesn't, right there, I think we've seen the safeties come down, so we knew it was cover zero. So we just popped the guy in a streak. Um, you know that's basically what you got to do. You guys got to adjust. If you see something you like in the defense, put a route on the field that you like. Uh, but the main route is this motioned out to the receiver here. Um, like I said, the cornerback just, I don't know what it is, but if he's backed off, he just like freezes and doesn't pay attention to it. Um, kind of weird, I guess. Uh, probably going to build a little bit more off of this play as well, because I know they have a really nice deep pass audible with the man beating wheel route on it. Um, so we'll definitely take a look at that, uh, you know, probably going forward. Might even do a free mini scheme on this playbook, guys, just because there's, like, really a lot of nice nice passing in it. Um, a lot of unique passes, too, which is awesome. But um, <clears throat> so here's the play, basically, guys. I mean, motion them over and, uh, you know, adjust your, your two receivers if you feel the need to. And then basically just make your read. You know, if that guy on the outside gets covered, usually that corner is wide open. Um, you're going to be pass leading on the corner, obviously. You can pass lead the out however you feel necessary, but the corner you're going to want to pass lead to the outside. Uh, kind of brings them back away from the safeties or anybody that might be dropping into that area. So uh, that's that there. That little out by the, the inside receiver, I mean, it's pretty good too. He gets a nice little speed burst. So, I mean, aside from two men under where they route mirror, that'll get open a lot as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this play, and as always, check out my channel for more. Check out www.menstudents.com for more tips. Thanks, guys. Peace. One, two, three. Let me hear you say KO. Competition can't move me. Wrong's one thing you won't prove me. Bruce Lee, Ramos, take a slug.